Hi guys, welcome to my channel, Tanya's Wig World. I'm Tanya, and today I want to take a look at Beltress's Wonderlust in the color Root Beer Float Blonde. So if you want to hear my opinion and get all the details on Wonderlust, please stick around. <laughs> Joining my channel today to watch my review on Wonderlust by Belle Tress in the color Root Beer Float Blonde. If you haven't done so yet, take a moment to hit the little subscribe button and the bell so that you never miss one of my uploads. So I want to take a moment to tell you where I picked up Wonderlust. I bought this from TL Wigs, which is an online wig shop that is owned and operated by Tracy Laird. And TL Wigs is a really great place to order your wigs from. So if you guys are looking for great deals, great customer service, fast shipping, check out TL Wigs because they have the best customer service and Tracy takes care of her customers. So I'm gonna put the link to TL Wigs online wig shop down below in my description box. She has some really great programs. She has a rewards program, which is every time you place an order, you earn rewards. And once you hit the 200 rewards, then you get $5 off of your next purchase. She also has a price match program. If you find a wig at another online wig retailer and it is $5 or more less than what she's currently offering on her website, then you can send Tracy an email at info at tlwigs.com. Let her know that you found something cheaper and where it's at. And as long as it's within, it's more than $5, she will price match that price. As long as it's not on the clearance at that other retailer, she'll price match it. The only exception is Gabor. Raquel Welch and Hairdo. So she doesn't price match those. They'll work that out so that you can always get the best price at TL Wigs. We also have a very active private Facebook group page, which is TL Wigs Support, Inspiration, and Education. On our private Facebook group page, we have a lot of activities going on over there. Um, there's always games that Tracy likes to play with her members and She'll do drawings for um, discounts or sometimes she gives away wigs or just she has drawings for product for your wigs to help keep them in the best shape. And she has given away mannequin heads before. Um, really great deals. She has bundles that she'll sell at a really cheap price. So if you head on over to TL Wigs in support, inspiration, and education, private Facebook group page, ask to join. And that is where all the fun begins. We, it's like a family over there. We all support each other and it's just really nice. So I encourage you to check it out. That link will be in my description box. So let's get into Wonderlust. This is really, really pretty. It's all one length. Fibers are super, super soft. They, my fingers just glide right through these fibers. Beautiful, silky, soft fibers. But I do notice that when it gets down to the end of the wig, the end of the fibers, they do tend to tangle a little bit. And it's a pretty blunt cut piece. It's very, um, in style, this type of cut is very in style right now. Just all one length with the blunt cut. So the sides are 17 and a half to 18 inches. The nape from your hairline down is 10 inches. The back is 17 and a half inches giving it an overall length 
of 10 to 18 inches. And this is probably gonna blow your mind, but the weight of Wonderlust is 7.8 ounces. And wow, hearing that number kind of blew my mind. I was like, that's gotta be heavy. When I put her on, she doesn't feel any heavier than any of my other long pieces that I wear. And if you guys have watched any of my other reviews, I love the longer styles. So I always expect them to be a little bit heavy, but 7.8 ounces, I wanna say this is the heaviest piece that I have tried on. There's no permatease in this piece. I don't feel anything at all. The density is a medium density. It's a lot of hair, but it's not a lush type of density. It's just like a really um, smooth, silky, medium density. With this being such a heavier style, that like I said, the density is a medium density. You can get a really good ear tuck out of this style. And that I think is really cute. Let me give you a turn so you can see Wonderlust on all four sides. So what I'm noticing is it looks longer than the measurements actually say, but it's longer on the sides in the front than it is in the back from what I'm noticing. And these, um, there's no layers. It is, it's not layered. Like if I, it's all one length. So there's no layers in this style. And I think that's probably why it's tangling a little more on the ends because there's no layers. So it's just all ending up at the end when you run your fingers through it. So every time I run my fingers, it's soft and silky, but when you get down to the ends, there's tangles. This is a heat friendly style. So I believe that this would be very easy to take care of because you can use a flat iron and just maintain these fibers if they get um, matted on the ends or gum, gum, gummy on the ends, then you can just use a flat iron to take care of those ends and you don't have to worry about messing up the style. And also if this straight style is not for you, you can add waves into this or curls and I think if you were to crimp this I think it would be really pretty and just remember if you do apply heat to this style to change it that it will remember the last heat that you applied to it so if you make it curly with a curling wand it will remain curly until you use heat to straighten it back out again so let's take a look at the inside of the cap Look at the blunt cut. You can see it really good when I hold it up like this. I love the straight fibers. They're beautiful. Let's take a look at the inside of the cap. So here's the really nice lace front that goes it's the extended lace front temple to temple has a lace middle part and you can part wonderlust anywhere in this section right here it's about an inch wide here's a little uh, closed wefts right here part of the cap here are 
the felt covered ear tabs with the metal stay, open weft sides and back, which will allow good ventilation when you're wearing this cap so you don't overheat. So here is the regular nape on Wonderlust. It is not an extended nape. It's just your regular standard nape with the bra strap adjusters to pull tight for a more secure fit or you can let them out if you need a little looser fit. And let's check out the stretch on Wonderlust. I would say that's a good stretch. So let's look at the color of Root Beer Float Blonde. You can see those platinum highlighted pieces that are dispersed throughout along with the ash blonde and the beige blonde and the champagne blonde. When you hold it up like this, you can really see all the dimensional colors. It's gorgeous. So let's go ahead and get her back on. Okay, so let's go over the color of Root Beer Float Blonde. Guys, this color is amazing. I think this might be one of my very favorite colors by Belle Tress. So the Root Beer Float Blonde is very, very dimensional. If you can see all the colors running through this, it is a blend of light pearl blonde, ash blonde, beige blonde, champagne blonde, and it's highlighted with platinum blonde, all on a light medium brown root. So this um, style Wonderlust is a center part, as you've seen when I took off the cap, it's a center part and the center, the parting space is from here to here. So you could try to part it a little left or right of center. Let's take a look at the lace front. So here is the lace front that runs temple to temple. It is a true temple to temple. And then this is where the ear tabs start. And I get really good coverage. What I do love about this is the platinum is run all the way to the lace front, which I really love that look. I think it looks really nice. Like you just got your hair done and the highlights were taken all the way to the front. I think this would also be a nice style if you wanted to wear it away from your face. It's just like a retro style. It's really nice. I love that blunt cut. The only thing if I have a negative to say about this style is the tangling at the bottom. That is one thing that would detour me from wearing this. But I haven't applied any product. So maybe if I was to put Simply Stylin on the ends, it may take care of the tangling that I'm feeling on the bottom. So if you have Wonderlust and you have experience with Wonderlust, let me know what your opinions are. Put your comments below. Let me know what you think of Wonderlust. I really think it's a beautiful style. I think it's very, very modern. I would also like to remind you to subscribe to my channel hit the little bell so you never miss one of my reviews. And I'd also like to invite you to check out two of the other reviewers for TL Wigs. Check out their YouTube channel. We have my sweet friend Missy with I Dream of Wigs and we have Kathy with Show and Tell My Wigs. Those ladies have some really great reviews out there. They're, some are short, curly, long, I mean, different colors. So go check out their channels and subscribe to their channel um, so you never miss one of our reviews for TL Wigs. And don't forget to check out the description box so that you can check out TL Wigs Online Wig Shop and our Facebook page. 
So thank you all for taking your time to watch and I hope you enjoy the rest of your day. Thank you.